Alright guys, today I'm going to be talking about frontside nose grind over crook, however you want to call it. Uh, the skateboard industry calls it nose grind, not over crook. I know in the video games it's called over crook, but I don't want to get into it. So nose grind, how to nose grind on a rail or over crook, however you want to call it. So well, the tricks that I would recommend are frontside 50-50 and backside crook then the reason why you want to have backside crook is you're basically going to be doing the same thing but you're just going to be jumping over the rail just like how you do a frontside lip slide but it feels like a board slide on a rail so it's not that hard i would say the hardest part is whenever you're you're going at it you may just need to lean on top of it some people tend to lean more this way like on that side of the rail or if you're trying it you might lean more this way left right it depends on you how you feel comfortable um, just I would just recommend get in there get in that pinch just put it in and just keep grinding stay on top of it uh, and the way you get out that might have a you might have some problems getting out it might go to primo or, or just kind of flip by itself towards the end because of the way you're leaning or if you may be brand new to it so for that I would just recommend stay weightless like like just try not to put too much pressure when you're coming out or if you already know how to like just kind of pop out and just do that motion ahead of time uh, that's all for the overcrook nose grind on a rail not too much for it and just make sure you have your footing correct that's it so now I'm gonna be talking to be about nose grind on I'm gonna be talking about nose grind on a box all right tricks I recommend for nose grind on a box is 50 50 and nose manual um, not a very simple trick nothing too hard it's not too difficult uh, just put all your pressure on your nose put it down like just don't be afraid maybe wax the top a little bit so your nose doesn't get stuck and you don't just go flying forward and stop uh, you could balance it like a, a nose mani that could help out or you could just put it down like that um, that's that's basically it for that I don't know what else you would want to know um, other than that, I also I wanted to talk about nose grind pop out. I feel like that one's really cool trick to do on boxes. Uh, so what you want to do for nose grind pop out is when you get in, kind of get in that uh, a crooked nose grind, like a uh, sort of a over crooky nose grindy, like on a rail type nose grind, and then just make sure you are a little crooked. And from here, you can see whenever you're going in. You want to have, when you're about to pop out, you want to push down on your nose and jump forward. So it allows you to jump out like that. So it, knowing how to nollie for that one would be really good because then it, it, it let you jump out and you just go out. So nose grind, pop out. You just get in, you push down with all your weight, you jump forward and you'll fly out and you'll just land it. Uh, that's. That's it for that one. I wanted to talk to you guys about that one because I don't really see much people doing that. And it's such a cool trick. So let me know what you guys thought about this trick tip. Let me know if it's ridiculous that it's not nose grind or over crook for a rail. Uh, I want to know your guys' thoughts. And let me know if I did a good job explaining the tricks it themselves. I would like to get some feedback on that. And I apologize if I made no sense to you guys. Other than that, thank you so much. Please hit the like button. It helps out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to be doing more videos. Leave a comment with your thoughts and tricks that you would want to see in the future. And, and have a good day. Later, guys. Bye.